what is up guys it's Mike Tamim here and welcome to my YouTube channel now I'm starting to get a bit tired you know it's, uh, 11 a.m. almost 12 p.m. well almost 50% past you know a bit more than 50% but that's fine but I am a bit tired but uh, I'm gonna push forward till about 9 10 p.m. or something like that then I will go to bed and hopefully sleep like a boss because I I am tired but uh, welcome nevertheless to my youtube channel and most of all welcome to the playthrough of Belliard. Hey Diego is not here no, you got to be shitting me man but in this particular episode I think it was 13 we're gonna go to Morasul and uh, at least it depends on how fast I get there, but uh, I'm gonna take the path towards Morasul. <laughs> but I'm a bit tired, but you know, that should be obvious by my voice. Being awake for over 20 months. What time is it? I'm, how late did I wake? About 3. So it's 3 three a.m. Uh, 3 p.m. So 3 p.m. time. Then I'm awake for 24 hours. Let's go skeleton. I also have to sh kill Sugut, by the way. But Sugut is... Somewhere... Um, Benny Rai... Here. Let me kill Sugut. Because it's an Ashishin quest to kill the motherfucker. But, uh, if I remember correctly, he's connected to Ramirez. I'm not quite sure. So I will not kill him just yet. Because I will get Ramirez's quest in uh, Mor Morasu. But I will check out if I can talk with him about his theft. I don't. Nah, I don't think I can. I will just go to Morasu and go to him when I need to. To kill him. Because uh, he will point me. Oh. To the. Uh, a thief. The ore thief. Fire chalices do I have six six fire chalices out of the twelve. The final one I always get in Nordmar because that's the area that I go last, which is uh from Milton. But uh a bad six. Hey what was that? Uh, XP Oh, that's a lot. It's a bit risky right now. I'm low on mana supplies. I'm low on the health healing supplies. So I'm just gonna try to avoid large groups for now. It's a bit, uh, you know, too risky. Come on, skeleton, run faster. Come 
Come on, buddy. Run faster. But I still got plenty to do. Now I'm now nearly done when it comes in the desert. Um, it could be that before I'm gonna go to Montero that I'm gonna kill shortly, you know, the water mages since all the quests that I will get in Morasu will connect to two to about three water mages groups. Um, and all the water mages are only in the desert, but uh, when it comes to Montero, um, Montero, Montana, I still have to do Galden, Sildon, when it comes to North, I still have to do a whole caboodle. Hook Boodle, I still have to go to Gotha, Faring, Vanguard, so I got pl plenty of stuff to do. Plenty. I think I got to learn quickly about level 6, um, which is, if you play the game legitimately without running through the entire game, purchase tablets here and there and just read all the books and stone tablets and what have you you know you can if you do that then you can get learn quickly at about as quickly as possible at about level three um, if you do it legitimately by just doing your quest and training into knowledge then you can at earliest get it about level six Oh, and I still also still have to drop the magic ore at uh, the quest in Montero. I don't have received that quest yet, otherwise I would have already failed it. But I do have the magic ore at the moment. I got about 20, 22, something like that, out of 5 that I need. Skeleton, show Moo's boss. I'm gonna kill these two in advance because they are useless and they are part of a, you know, a uh, ambush. So if I already take care of them, I don't have to worry about them. My archery is so terrible. Good job, Skeleton. I did do this guy, right? Nope. Before I go, but I have to go uh, and uh, get, you know, I wanted to do the fire chalice with the sand crawler, well, injured sand crawler, but I will come back, I have to go there anyways because of the, uh, um, I think it were temple keys that the motherfucker stole. Go back now. Not quite sure what his name is, but I think it was Yusuf. 
Yusuf, the artifactor thief, is near a paladin that has lost a fire chalice, which is in the belly of a uh, injured sand crawler. At least I got some booty along the way. You have come at the right moment, father of competence. I hate to tell you this, but my own guards have robbed me. Those dogs! May they never find a drop of water again! You let your own guards steal from you? If you want to do me a favor, hunt down those guys. I already told Bandero, the bounty hunter, about this. But that was the last time I ever heard from him. You're selling water? That can be a profitable business, master of a thousand adventures. A traveler who's dying of thirst would give anything for a cool drink from my well. You can have a cool drink too, if you like. What did the guards steal from you? There were at least 700 gold coins. I want them back. I will bring back your gold. That would be extremely kind of you, master of generosity. I will take care of your guards. I hope they have already withered under Inos's unrelenting sun. May their bodies shrivel. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. You must hunt them down. Do you hear me? Show me your goods. Three hammers. That means I still need about two. Which is good. thought for a second that my remote was activated, but apparently it wasn't. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go to Borasul. Well, we basically already are at Borasul, but you get the picture. I need uh, water. We have some water. Be another way. Some tasty, refreshing mizu. Show me your goods. Right, so that one is done. The only thing that I still need are swords. But I know a place where to glitch it. Well, to get it infinitely if I wanted to. Not that I need it infinitely, I only need three more saws. Well, I could do it for if, if, if infinity. How can Hamid be of service to you, son of distant travels? A man like you must be interested in a good bargain, no? What's that deal you want to offer me? For many years now, I have been looking for a particular artifact. The Amulet of Sorcery. Where is it? Somewhere among the ruins? Not anymore. The busy hands of slaves dug it up from the sand. It is now in the hands of Ilya, the artifact dealer. I will get you the amulet from Ilya. Here, take this gold. It should be enough if you use it wisely. Why don't you go and simply buy the amulet? That's not so easy, son of Frank speech. If Ilya learns it is for me, he will inflate the price. Greetings, stranger from the north. How's business? Mm, sometimes good, sometimes bad. I'm working on a big score with Gonzales. But before that, I have to settle a couple of other matters. And I could use your help doing that, warrior. Work for me for a while, and I will make you a rich man. What do you want me to do for you? I have to get this slave off my hands. Take Orknorak to the Temple of the Ancient Ones. Talk to Fasim there. Let them deal with him. What's the problem? It's the sun. It makes him crazy. Last night, he stood before me in my tent with this penetrating gaze. Just get him out of here, or I'm going to lose my mind. 
Do you see men from the north here very often? Occasionally. The last one I met said that he was a fire mage. Well, as run down and starved as he looked, it was difficult to imagine that he was once one of those powerful mages. Tell me more about the fire mage. There isn't much to tell. He croaked in the desert. The only thing he had with him was this chalice. He guarded it jealously to the very end. Apparently, the chalice was worth more to him than his life, the fool. Where is the fire mage's chalice now? Ha <laughs> ha! You seem to be very interested in it, stranger. Ha! <laughs> and I thought the thing was worthless. The chalice is in my possession. Work for me, and I will give you the fire mage's chalice. I see. Who are you? I am Orknarok. That's a strange name. Actually, my name is Oli. Yeah, that's my fighting name. It comes from my time as a gladiator. Why don't you fight in the arena? I did, at least until Angar took me apart. And then no one wanted to see me fight anymore. Philippe sold me to Masil for a song. You're coming with me now. I'd like nothing better. I need to do something, anything, before I go nuts here. You gave Masil a pretty nasty scare. Hey, I just couldn't take it from him anymore, understand? The guy has no use for me anyway. I gave him a bit of a scare so he won't want to get rid of me. Well, it worked. Broken. I'm like a freaking ninja. Do have to be careful because uh, if they say step, then uh, I'm pretty much screwed because I don't have make excuses yet, and I do want to get those soul chalices. Which is quest related to gain access to a thief here, which I need as soon as I level up to get make excuses so I'm gonna stop stealing anything else just to be on the safe side Anktos the Nomad you are one of the nomads so I am from Kaor's clan someday my brothers will come and free me do you think it is wise to say that aloud the Hashishin do not believe we can ever make it and you I am ready to die for my freedom. That's all that counts for me. You are fighting in the arena? Right. If you want to fight me, go talk to Philippe. Where can I find Kaor? I will tell you, although I do not know your intentions. Therefore, be warned. Do not cross my clan. You will bitterly regret it. Get on with it. My clan's hideout is a cave near the west end of the Fields of Ruin. There you are, at last. Found your way to the big arena of Morasul, after all. Angar, how did you get here? Well, I went up to the coast, and there I was. Went through a couple of fights here in the arena, and before I knew it, I was champion of Morasul. Too bad you didn't see me fight against Orknarok. Tell me about your fight with Orknarok. Well, listen then. First we exchange a few blows, you know, testing each other out. Then he hits me with some heavy blows, and I try to block. And I'm going down, 
and he twirls his axe like it's light as a feather. I stagger back to my feet, knock it aside with a parry, spin around and slug him a good one. That was it. And then they declared me champion. Live on like that. Looks like you haven't quite retired yet. You're right. I'm still working on my pension fund. But as long as the war between the gods remains undecided, I may not find any peace either, I'm afraid. I'm glad that at least we managed to get off that cursed island of Carinus. Yeah, you and me both, I guess. Being champion of Mora Sewell is quite a big deal around here, isn't it? I guess so. These idiots were never in the mining colony. Compared to our battles with the guards back then, these arena fights are really a joke. The only interesting part is the prize for the champion. The Moonblade. An awesome weapon. You're still really into weapons, aren't you? I can show you a few more things. Maybe later. Thanks for the offer. You haven't been in the city long, have you? Then you should know one thing. Morasul is Gonzales's city. Gonzales takes his cut from every business, every deal, even from the thefts. Have you seen the elite warriors running around here? They are under his command. I see. I can get you a couple of missions to put a bit of gold in your pockets. Morasul can be very expensive, especially for travelers. What sort of missions do you have? Bounty hunting. I am looking for a couple of really bad guys and a thief. There is also this missing Hashashi. Who is this thief you're looking for? His name is Yusuf. He stole some artifacts from the excavation. What's so unusual about that? First, he stole the artifacts that can be used to open the temple. And second, he got caught and took off. Gonzalez can't let him get away with that. The orcs are still guests in our country, after all. I see. What about that missing Hashishin? His name is Ramirez. He works for the black mage, Ningard. Tell me more about the bad guys. The guards of Kafu, the water vendor on the east side of town. They ran off with his gold, just like that. Hmm. And? Kafu is high in Gonzalez's favor. Do I have to say more? So, you're a bounty hunter. I used to hunt everything, but Gonzalez offered me a good deal. The job here is a bit quieter, but I've still got what it takes. So, if you want to know something... I will kill Yusuf, the artifact thief. Good, but to do that, you'll have to find him first. Take a look around the excavation. If you're lucky, he's hiding nearby. Doesn't matter. I'll look into Ramirez. Good. All I know is he was on his way to the Fields of Ruins, and he has been gone a very long time. So find out what's wrong. I will track down Kafu's guards and kill them. I have already sent people north and east, but they haven't found anything. And what does that mean? Somebody bold enough to tangle with Gonzalez is also bold enough to stay in the area. I'll find them. <laughs> All right, so let me talk with the uh guy that will give me the quest with the soul chalices what's wrong are you lost do i look like it in a way yes you're peering into every corner as though you've lost something hmm. or you're looking for an opportunity to bag something here in the city right nonsense i'm looking for work well i might have something for someone like you and if that were so Hmm. In that case, I might be able to help you. What's up? All right. What do you have to offer? The most influential merchants in the entire desert live in this damn city. And their great wealth matches their position. If you help me to lighten their burden somewhat, I could teach you how to really line your pockets. All right. I'll help you. What exactly am I supposed to steal? A while ago, this quack came to Morasul. <laughs> he told the merchants here stories of a great evil demon. It always comes by night and steals the souls of unbelievers. <laughs> Naturally, there is a remedy. The soul chalice. It would protect its owner from the demon. Five of the merchants here paid a fortune to obtain the soul chalice. Since then, 
Every one of them has had one standing next to his pillow. Bring me the five soul chalices. The fools will also pay a second time when they noticed that the things are gone. Who exactly has a soul chalice? Fezul bought one. And Ilya as well. That I know. For the others, hmm, I am not quite so sure. Just take a look beside their beds. And don't get any ideas about selling them the items yourself. That requires a bit more sales talent, if you know what I mean. Yeah, sure. I don't know you. Are you from up north? You could say so. Hmm. Are you seeking to make a profit too? Sure. What else? What are you doing here? I sell. I buy. What would you like to hear? I'm an artifact trader. And as long as things don't go wrong all the time, I'm pleased enough with my humble existence. What's going wrong for you? The slaves at the temple stole the artifacts from the orcs and sold them here in town. Every single trader here in Morasul made a profit. But ever since they got Yusuf the slave, business has all but come to an end. Tell me more about that artifact thief, Yusuf. He was the best thief among the slaves. He even stole the keys to the temple of Morasul and sold... Those are the most valuable items that the orcs have dug up out there so far. But they're only keys. That's right. But the orcs want to get inside the temple. That's why they would pay any price to get their hands on those keys. Makes sense. I will help you get your business going once more. I want the slaves to work for me again. Sure. You want them to pilfer artifacts for you. Go to the temple and talk to the fat man. He's supervising the slaves there. Persuade him. I don't care how you do it, as long as business goes on. Where is this slave Yusuf now? He fled to the desert. Last I saw him, he ran northeast from Morasul. I get the picture. Show me your goods. Got some tablets? You do, good man. I have some shit to sell. I do, Nash. Look at me bit of gold in me pocket. Well, or not. It cost me a bit, but where's Elia? Whatever the bug his name is, one of those uh, merchants. Fat one. Oh, there is the fat man. Oh no, it's merchant. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. Greetings, Keeper of a Thousand Coins. You appear to be looking for something. Are you a raider of the Lost Temple Keys of Morasul? Or is it a fate other than mere hunger for profit that leads you to our hot country, my pale friend? I've come here to offer my services to Periar. Tell me about the Temple Keys of Morasul. Oh yes, I don't mind if I do. I happen to have one here in my possession. Perhaps we could make a deal. You're a merchant? Very perceptive of you. I trade in artifacts, like so many people of my kind in this country. 
Would you perhaps be interested in my goods? If you got some stone tablets, then fuck yeah. Show me your goods. I know what you're doing. But you got none. Worthless man. What do you want for your temple key? You know I purchased this for a reason. There's something in the temple that I would like to have. What? An old vase. It is covered with ancient writing. I propose this deal. I give you the key, and you bring me the vase. How about it? I will get the vase from the temple for you. Great. Remember, it is completely covered with writing. And if you don't deliver the vase, a bounty hunter will deliver your head to me. Here's the key. And don't be too long. Hey, I decide myself how long I'm gonna take to get me that fucking base. I am looking for the amulet of sorcery. Mm, you come in vain then, I'm afraid. I have no such amulet. You should be very careful. Really? Why don't you take another look? It is very old. Oh, right. One of the old amulets. Yes, uh, I have that. Tell me, why do you want it? I think some big bundle amulets for me. Everyone can use a magic amulet. Of course. All of you so why does it have to be this one? I want to increase my magic abilities. With this amulet, I will gain more mana and can cast improved spells. Oh, uh, fine. I will tell you my price. You should be very careful. Show me your goods. Oh yeah, you had none. You didn't add shit. Aside from your soul chalice, that is. Which is now mine. I'll take that as payment. For delivering his bars. That I haven't delivered yet. Now the last one that I need is from the uh, smithy. And then we have all the soul chalices. So let me quickly get that one. Valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No, we're watching you. Warning one. But I can, uh, as soon as I left. Call me Ismail. I'm the blacksmith here. The only blacksmith around. I see. You're very busy then? You can say that. Almost everybody here is carrying one of my weapons. What I wanted to say is that what was was um i don't know <laughs> oh yeah right at least now i can as soon as i level up you know learn make excuses because of the fact that i got the sword chalices before i got the warning the first warning because of the fact that i need to make excuses where can i find the merchants have you already fought in the arena felipe managed to get hold of something special the next champion will win the Moonblade. Is that not right up your alley? Ah, if I were ten years younger, I wouldn't miss the opportunity. If you need another weapon, I can sell you one. And if you want to know how to forge a blade, I can show you. Tell me more about the Moonblade. It is a valuable ancient weapon. It was forged in Bisala. What I wouldn't give for it. Really? Why is that? I want to examine it. Perhaps I can learn from this blade. And how much is the blade worth to you? Hmm, let's say 600 gold coins. Or you can give it to Gonzales and gain access to, you know, Gonzales as a gift. So I'm gonna do that, of course, because of the fact that I need to join the Hashishin. But uh, I think it were the Realm playthrough where I actually gave this guy the Moonblade. Also could be Adnos. But uh, either one of those two runs, which is already on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in Human Orc Mercenary, you can find it on my YouTube channel. If you're looking for the Rebels, you can find it. And if you're looking for the Hashishin, well, 
then you're in the right place in this particular playthrough. Let me take a look at your goods. 40,000 gold. If only I was that rich. Teach me something about being a smith. Good. Thank you. Alright, so let me talk with this guy. Hey, you. Are you looking for the temple keys too? Excuse me? There's only one topic in this wretched town. The artifact keys to the temple of Morasul. Really? The fellow in my pub asks a lot of questions about the temple. I think he knows something. Maybe you should talk to him. What are you buying? Or are you broke already? What do you mean? Nothing's cheap at Morasul. If you have no gold, you're soon down on your luck here. You don't look like a Shishin. That's probably because I come from Mertana. How can I make some gold here? You could try to make some bargains with the merchants. But I think you'd be better off in the arena. Hey, maybe I should bet on you. Let's see, I think I could risk a few coins. Anything else? Well, if you need some gold really badly, I could lend you some. Could you? How much? Let's say 1,000 for you, but then I want 400 extra back. Which is a quest, so I would just borrow it. I would like to borrow your gold. Hmm. All right. I think I can trust you with my gold. You've got five days. Then I want my dough back. Plus the 400. Sure, I will lose a bit of gold because of this, but like I said, it's a quest. Here's your gold back. You didn't disappoint me. That was a good investment. Hmm, I thought there was a book here. Apparently not. Let me quickly deliver the soul chalices that should make me level up. I'm not quite sure that it will, but I'm really close to leveling up, which is good. So fingers crossed. Here are the soul chalices. Ha! <laughs> you are great. You've got what it takes. Congratulations. Here. I'll give you some gold now. Some time will have to pass before I can show up at the merchants with these things. They need to stew for a while first. 3,000 gold. Well, that was a good investment. I'm, mean, uh, you know, still way not enough gold when it comes to the total picture, but hey. What are you doing hanging around here? What sort of building is this? I ought to have you flogged for such a stupid question. You're standing in front of the residence of one of the most powerful merchants in Varant. Denzelis has great influence here in the desert, and you will honor his name, or die. What else can you tell me about Gonzales? He is the most skilled merchant in the desert, and Zubin's most important man when it comes to business. So be careful not to arouse the wrath of Gonzales, or things will go badly. For you. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm looking for work. Don't talk nonsense. A man like you is here to make a profit. That's why they all come to Morasul. Or you want to become a good fighter? You can learn that from me. How can I do Gonzales a favor? Everyone knows that Gonzales only receives people who impress him and bring him gifts. I see. About the gifts for Gonzales. Speak. What do you have to offer? I bring gold for Gonzales. Ah, yeah. Gonzales will be pleased by this gift. Gold is always good, but gold isn't everything. About the gifts for Gonzales. Speak. What do you have to offer? Is Gonzales also interested in swamp weed? I have a whole package here. You are a man of taste. Yes, that will please Gonzales. Here, the stuff comes from Lago. Gonzales will be very pleased with this. About the gifts for Gonzales. Speak. What do you have to offer? What would Gonzales especially like? Well, what could possibly please a man of the world? A special hard-won weapon? 
beautiful woman. Maybe even if long overdue debts were finally paid, you think of something. Morasul is large. You're sure to find some suitable gifts here. Hmm. I'll take a look around. All right, so let me see how many learning points. Excuse me, man, I want that teleport stone. Thank you. Do you see how many learning points making excuses will cost me? Teach me something about thievery. Hmm, not that cheap, not that expensive. How do I talk my way out of things? A useful skill if you ever have trouble with the guards. The important thing is to come across convincingly. So speak with a firm voice and look the guy straight in the eye. Then you assert something, anything. Just don't say, I can explain. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Uh-huh. Good. Uh huh. Carry on. Of course, I don't have enough to learn this one yet, but. You don't have the necessary experience. Oh, I could have learned it, okay. Then the next two levels are going to be difficult locks as well as pickpockets. If I'm gonna train into stealing or what have you. Because strength, magic, ancient knowledge is actually more important but I certainly need gold let me quickly deliver the amulet here's Ilya's amulet excellent son of reliability and here's your reward I can offer you another deal if you are interested. Tell me about your deal. Go to Morat's oasis on my behalf and bring him my greetings. Give him the amulet as a present. A present? He will not accept it without offering you something in return. I see. How much should I accept? You will accept nothing less than the lovely Yasmin. She is the price I desire. Yasmin, nothing else. How much is in it for me? Hmm. I will give you a heap of gold, and I will recommend you to Gonzales. All right, I'm in. Take the amulet and listen. Do not let him trick you. Where is Murat's oasis? Not far from these walls to the west of the city, son of disorientation. All right. Now, I'm also going to deliver both... Um girls to Gonzales as a gift, you know, and just to get Max um, reputation me. with the uh, Hashishin. At least I think it's gonna give Hashishin reputation or sh city reputation. If it gives nothing, I will make sure to say beforehand, of course, but if it, if it gives nothing, then I will give it to their rightful owners, basically. Which means giving one wife to Gonzales and the other one to uh, that little uh, lit little creepy fucker. Come with me. Let's go. Let's go. I'm also gonna go quickly to the rebel guy, which was sitting in the area where I got the gold and had to pay 400 back just to complete the quest. You know, it's fine. So I have. Two guys behind me, at least check if it, that is uh, possible. Interested in a little business? What do you have to offer? <laughs> oh, I see, I caught your attention. I can tell you how to get your hands on one of the temple keys of Morasul. And? Well, this will cost you a little. How much? 500 gold coins. What's a mercenary doing in Morasul? Business. What else? You're here to get on the gravy train too, aren't you? Where's the temple key? Have you got the gold? Yes, here. Fine. Now, the temple key is outside of town. Desert raiders got their hands on it. They took it during a raid. 
and are now looking for a buyer. Do you know where those raiders are? Yes, I can lead you there if you want. Lead me to the desert raiders. I will. Follow me. And that is for the uh, next part of this episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified on whenever I upload content. Is he just... Oh, he is waiting. Okay. And uh, if you like what you see, then uh, don't forget to smash that like button for a gothic series hardcore run. And if you want to see, like I said earlier, different paths, you can find both the rebels as well as the human orc mercenaries already on my channel. And uh, let's go into part 2 of Morasul. Where we're gonna search for the Kavu's guards, etc. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.